Okay, today we're going to learn how to make a barcode. I have a picture of a barcode here. Basically, we all we really need to do is get the lines going, and I'm going to show you how to do that with uh, transform again, and create the text and put it in there and maybe move these up or down. Several ways to do that, but I'm going to show you the quickest way I know. So I'm going to start off by making a line segment. All right, that line segment is has zero thickness. I'm going to just put a slight stroke on there just so I can grab it and move it around. All right, so I'm going to take that one line segment that I held shift, clicked and dragged down, and added a stroke to, and I'm going to click and drag over, and I'm going to hold alt and shift at the same time. That's going to make sure that this sucker is line aligned and I have made a copy of it. So that's what I did. I just took a line segment, clicked, dragged, moved it over by holding Alt and Shift, and then I released, and then I didn't do anything else. I just left it there. The next step is to go up to uh, Object, Transform, and Transform again, and that's Control D. Control D. I'm gonna press Control D now. Control D, 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 D. Holding down the D, all right? So now I've got Control D. I've made a whole row of them. You can do this at Transform again. It's a fun tool that you can use. Um, with any of the transform operations, which are uh, rotate, scale, shear, reflect, all these things, you can do transform again with that. They have different ways of it working, but it's pretty neat. All right, so let's back to the barcode. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to start having some fun with this. Maybe I make this stroke a little bit thinner. Maybe I make the next stroke a little bit thicker. And you just have some fun figuring out how you wanna do this, how you want it to look, looking at your reference, all right? There's a bunch of different t things in here, but the other thing I wanted to do is get my uh, my type in there, correct? I think it's two sections of six numbers each, which looks pretty good, so I'll just do six, two sections of six numbers each. So I'm just gonna type this out. Right, delete. We're just trying to make it look authentic. It's not supposed to be real. It's just supposed to kind of look authentic. I'm going to click and drag that over here because it needs a little bit of space in between there and then change those numbers. There we go. Good to go. I'm going to take those two numbers and I have found that the best, um, the best um, type style to use with that is not Myriad Pro but an OCR something or other. I guess it's OCR or whatever these are. They look fun. They look very um, computerized, right? All right, so I feel good about this. I know from my reference down here, there's like two little bars at the end of the number. All right, so two little bars at the end of the number at least, and they need to be the same. It looks like size. I like that. It's going to be good. I got two numbers in between. I'm going to group this, and I'm going to send this below. Transfer, arrange, I'm gonna send it to the back because I wanna grab these couple of points here. So I'm grabbing the entire bottom row. I'm gonna shift deselect the um, type because that allowed me to kind of move up everything. You see that? I can move just the bottom row of um, points. This is the direct selection tool. I've selected those points, all right? And then I'm going to select these guys holding shift. Oops. And the two guys on the end. And the two guys on this end hold, still holding shift, just selecting those single points and pulling them down. I'm, I'm pressing the down button on my cursor. All right, doesn't have to go all the way. I don't, uh, yeah, it goes, kind of goes halfway, right? And then I can adjust my... Um, type within there a little bit if, in, if I needed to. Maybe I move over this one instead of that one. All right, and that's how you make a barcode. Have some fun with that. Learn how it works. Make your own fake barcodes and maybe you can uh, do some guerrilla advertising and put them all over Walmart and create havoc.